What's up, friends? Jonathan here with JL Banks and Outdoors. I'm at the lease now and checking some cameras and checking on the green fields that we planted. On some of these fields, we did some top zone with WMS deer magnet. Um, I just got to checking one camera and I'm about to go over the field again. And I'll share just passing through the field here in a second once I get down there. Uh, but the fields are coming in nice, man. We just planted these fields about two and a half weeks ago. Um, it's the first time I've been down here uh, in about two weeks since we planted. Um, but they're coming in good. We're getting deer on them. Which uh, I'm, I'm excited. We're getting daytime deer because last year we weren't getting any deer. Um, but for the fact that we're getting deer on these fields during daylight hours and not nighttime hours, I'm pretty happy. Um, I'll share some photos with you um, that I picked up on my Tasco cameras and a couple other cameras that uh, some of the, my buddies have out here. They're not Tasco, but they're wild game and, and other things. But uh, I'll share those photos too if we got anything good. Um, but these fields are coming in nice. Um, I'll share, uh, I'll show you, I'll flip the camera here in a second and let you see um, one of the fields we got. All right, hang on one sec. Yep, this one was a top sewn field. We cut it with a, a zero turn and just top sewn it. Um, you can't really see the, the lighting's not very good. Um, but over here on the left side, I'm gonna roll my window down, you can see it a little better. Um, it's coming in great for a top sewn field looking pretty good looks like that ryegrass is coming in through hot i'm assuming that's ryegrass it could be some of the oats or the wheat i really don't know what's in these in these bags i haven't really studied all that but for a top zone field this is looking pretty good um so let me climb this hill real quick in my truck and uh, check another camera real fast I've run into every spider web into the woods. They ain't even gone five feet yet. Yeah, I was right. There is a little feeder down here. It does look like he does look like he planted a little small little field down here. Got a bunch of clover growing down here. Not a bad little spot. Not bad. Close on my camera. A little chunk of it. There's a camera, it's a little wild game. I'm not sure of the model, but I'll come over there and uh, get, a, oh, get, get the camera out and see what we got. All right, about to make this uphill climb. Um, one last little view. All right. Rolling into another field in the middle of the woods that we planted. This area last year was pretty hot. Um, had a lot of action on it. And nobody really hunted it, which I can understand why, because the stand, in my opinion, is really not that great. It's a great looking sheep house, but I think the floor is rotten in it, so people are kind of leery about getting in it. Um, tried to get someone in here and move it out, but they won't listen to me. But. Here I am rolling in on this field now and I'll, I'll shine a light on it here in a second. Yeah, here's that field. Small little green field. It's coming up real nice. We, uh, this is kind of a mixture of uh, teal slash top sew because we used a, a disker that we threw in the back of my truck and tried disking as much of it as we can, but weren't very successful so we ended up just top seeding most of it all right so here's one of the fields that we drilled the clover's coming up real nice some of the cereals coming in uh, got some tracks in here but why the camera's not picking it up I don't know but here's the field the top side fields look like they come in a little bit better than these drilled fields are 
just on this particular field, but I'm not sure if this field just didn't get cut real good or, or what, but I can tell that we've got some some action coming into this field nonetheless, but looks good. Looking better back there. This park must not get a whole lot of sunlight, which I seriously doubt. Um, got two cameras on the field. I'll readjust just to make sure they're looking good. Here's another field that we top dressed with a seven card draw. No disc can just cut. These top dress fields are looking, in my opinion, a lot better than the, the disc fields or the drilled fields, but at the same time, um, those drills are supposed to get better germination. Already got some rooting going on here. Not bad. Not too much sunlight coming in and out, but the fact that there's a lot of clover coming in here, it looks good. Not a lot of sunlight. And we got a lot of growth, not too bad. This field right here was seed drilled and it's coming up like fire. It's coming up good. Um, it's probably one of the better fields that I've seen with the drill so far, but um, it's probably the one that's probably got the best uh, soil contents as far as acidity, acidity goes and pH balance and so forth. But um, everything's coming up good. The top dress fields are coming in, the seed drill's coming in good. I'm impressed. Um, this is where the field where we had the uh, hog trap on um, that we weren't catching any hogs, but someone dumped that feeder over and dumped all the corn out, so I'm assuming that uh, there was a reason for that. But anywho, um, these are the seed drills, man. This looks good, looking fire. This here's the field that Greg, from the Greg DeBoer family farm, decided he didn't want to drill for me. So I top seeded it. Look how pretty that looks. These were just these were just planted two weeks ago, fellas. Two weeks ago. Look how pretty that's coming in. The brassicas aren't up yet. So far, it's just the cereals. But overall, I'm impressed. This is all that WMS blend, the deer magnet, too. By the way, some real good stuff. I'm getting pictures of deer during daylight. Last year, I wasn't. Can't complain about that one bit. Here I am now at one of my spots that nobody knows about. I haven't planted it, but it's a good spot. It's got a lot of good deer coming to it. Pigs feeding on my salt block. Raccoons feeding on my salt block. Deer feeding on my salt block. I'm a pretty good little spot that I may hunt this year a good bit. Um, got one other spot that I want to put a new camera up at, but I'm not exactly sure if I want to or not. Um, then I got one other field that I did check that I got a camera on too. But, um, overall, um, I'm enjoying the fields the way they're looking right now. Um, nothing to complain about there one bit. This is one of those eight millimeter Tasco cameras that I was telling you about in my last video. This is the one that I love. Here's my salt block. Here it is. Let me get a little closer to it. There's that. I believe I had this set up on a hog trap once and uh, was hit or miss as far as the quality with the cell link camera. Um, but as far as the night photos and the deer, fo uh, the daytime photos, everything comes out great. Um, I can't wait to see what I have on this, this camera because I put out some of that big and J feed and it's all gone right now. So let's see what it's like. And here's another one of our fields that was seeded with the drill. And you can see a lot of the clovers coming up. It seems like the more shadier fields are coming up better. They're getting more shade and less sunlight, but at the same time, the areas that I'm seeing that's got the most sunlight has to do the less amount of growth, but it's growing 
it's not growing this the cereals like I expected. It's growing the actual brassicas and the clover in the seeded areas. Um, you see all this stuff is looking good right here. Um, I can't wait for it to all come up. One good patch right there. Um, and along the edges and so forth. 